Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you on Cyclone, it's time for more Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. And we're going to do some rail fanning today, guys. I said it last time I was going to do it, and here we are, we're doing it. Uh, now, apparently we don't have a lot of career scenarios on the rail fan tab. Either that, or rail fan is actually only picking out these three for some reason. I thought there were some career ones on here for Sherman Hill as well, but what do I know? I'm pretty sure they're there. It's just not picking everything out. I thought it was going to pick them all out, and it didn't, so I'm fairly surprised by that. In any case, you can see there's only three listed here for the uh, for the entire Bonstrek Dresden route uh, from Leipzig, including Risa. And the other three are over on the standard tab, which I'm going to show you in a second. So let's pop over there for a second. And here you can see the three scenarios on the standard side. Uh, now, ignore the Bedford Junction stuff. That's something else, and we haven't done a lot of the trains that drive on that yet, so we'll worry about that later. But I do have that for a future uh, thing. So keep in mind, Bedford Junction Branch will show up at some point, just probably not for a while. Uh, it is a workshop route, though, so I want to try and get it in. In any case, uh, you can see there are three rail fan scenarios for Leipzig, Engelsdorf, Wurzen, and uh, Dresden Biskoffsplatz. I'm happy to see that's one of the uh, ones because I like that name, Dresden Biskoffsplatz, on the corner where it merges with another line that goes off the map. So a uh, very, very uh, nice selection for areas there. And I actually asked about the fact that these rail fan scenarios are not career scenarios while the other ones are. I kind of got one of those weird answers for that. And the reason was uh, because the career scoring for some reason didn't want to work on those three scenarios that you see as standard scenarios. So I'm not sure why they didn't just make them all standard scenarios because as I said, the career points don't really matter on this anyway. You get a thousand, you're done, that's it. You can't lose any of them. So there's no point really having the career scenario points here. But um, yeah, they did it for half of them and not for the other half, which is kind of mixed up because it makes you think there's only three rail fan scenarios on the entire route, whichever way you're looking at it. Uh, especially if you're looking in the career tab and someone might not think to go looking at the other tab for those other three scenarios. So if you're one of those people who doesn't think of doing that, here they are. Go do some rail fanning yourself if you want to see them before I do. So uh, in the meantime, we are going to be doing all the Bonstrek Rice out of Dresden today. And uh, since I, now I thought about doing this one first, the standard one, but I really want to start at Risa because that is the terminus of the route. So we're going to go to Risa. Let's go back to career. So we're going to go to Risa, then we're going to head to Radebule Zitschwig, which is on the way to Dresden Biskoffsplatz. And uh, then we're going to get, obviously do them in that order. We're going to do the Leipzig ones at a later time. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first of three rail fan scenarios. This one is located in the Risa area. And we're going to go ahead and move to Radebule and, uh, and the Dresden Biskoffsplatz after that. I may, not, I may or may not flip to the menu to do that. I may just let you know that we're changing scenarios and stay in there rather than flipping to the menu each time because there's no point really recording a menu bit each time. So let's get into the scenario at Risa. We will take a look at that right now. Oh, wow, I need to stop drinking before I do these things. Uh, in any case, uh, this is rail fan mode, ladies and gentlemen. If you've seen my Sherman Hill rail fan scenarios, which involve the uh, gas turbine in them as a special guest for e once in each of those three scenarios, then uh, let's just say you know exactly what's going to happen here. I'm going to line up some pictures for you, and you're going to take them for me. No, that's not how it works. Um, oh, I'll just take good camera views for you, and you can get whatever desktop pictures you like. Think of it as a service from me to you. You can watch some trains go by. I'll give you all the good angles because I've done the research on what everything's doing here. And as a result, you're going to be able to uh, get some good pictures. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. We've got about... Uh, by my count, about uh, 27 trains to look at today across the three stations. So let's get to work. Let's get to work looking at some of these trains, shall we? So first thing is, uh, now notice that my camera is actually bobbing about for some reason. When I have one view active, my camera is for some reason bobbing about. But when I go to eight, it stops, stops and stands still like it normally would. They have a human element. In any case, I hear a train. Somebody's coming here. Platform number one is bringing in train number 1460766. And as it comes in for a stop, you're going to have another train cross our path coming in right in front of us. That is train number 4421163. Now the first uh, is the BR146 is that first train that came in. It is a service from Elsterwerda to Chemnitz HBF. We're not going to see a lot of those here because you only see them go through Risa, and this is the only one in this scenario, so we don't see a lot of those. But the uh, train at 
Topper number two right now is a more common one. Uh, that is a Leipzig to Dresden, Leipzig HDF to Dresden HBF. Uh, and that is a normal service. That service basically goes back and forth all day. And uh, it is a 50, has but roughly about 15 intermediate stops on it. It can be, might be an extra station here and there or one that gets canceled here and there, but it's roughly 15 stops. So the train uh, heads off, the first train is heading off to, Shem, to Chemnitz right now. The second one is about to head off to Dresden when it closes its doors. So uh, those are the first two trains that we're going to see in this scenario today. The Chemnitz train, by the way, was a six car service. And this train you're seeing now is an eight car service. Uh, going by to uh, Dresden. So we're going to have to uh, stand by and wait for another train to come along. And we're going to uh, keep an eye out and see what train comes in in a moment. So I will catch up with you when we see the next train coming in. So here we are now facing platform number five. This is a freight train, a class 18, BR189. It is hauling some uh, one freight cars. As you can see here, these freight cars, I believe, were updated into the uh, route with the upgrade of the uh, Leipzig to Dresden uh, or Leipzig to Rice's section. By the way, the train that you just saw coming in behind that is an IC2446 1010925 12 car service coming into platform three. That particular train is heading to Cologne HBF or Cologne as we might know it HBF. So uh, let's turn around and take a look at that train as it comes in. Here it is on platform number three. The freight train, of course, just went through because that's what it does. So we're going to cross over to this side. We're going to watch the uh, train stop and open some doors. There you go. So the train to Cologne is on its way. And, but first, after the stop at Risa, so it will continue. This is a really long service going all the way to Cologne. I think it's about five, six, seven hours for this train. It starts at Dresden, it goes all the way to Cologne. So this is a long service. And there's gonna be one coming in from the other direction. I believe IC2049 is gonna be coming in from the uh, other direction. And I am reading on the timetable that it is scheduled to arrive at platform number two. So we're gonna keep an eye out for that one to come through. So uh, we'll keep an eye out for that in just a moment. And uh, there's not a lot of trains on the timetable here at Risa. This is not really as much of an intersection as other stations on the route. So, okay. So we're gonna see some other activity later on. Is that train coming in already? That is already the other train coming in. There it is coming in as I said at platform two. Uh, so that is train number 1011105 coming through. And I'm gonna have to get out of the way here. Ah. And there's people here waiting for it already. Beautiful. Beautiful. I always have to pull back for the doors, don't I? There it is. Now, there's an interesting little quirk I want to show you, and this happens on a lot of the trains here, especially in the Rice version of the scenario. Notice the uh, train claims to be an Intercity 17, Rostock, Berlin HBF, and Dresden. Berlin HBF is not on this route. I don't know how they're getting an IC 17 from this, but it goes from Dresden to Berlin HBF? No. The IC 17 does not go anywhere near RISA. I don't know why they label these as. Uh, did they do it on this one too? I want to know now. Let's uh, pause the game for a second. I'll find out for you because I want to know if this train did the same thing. That's the wrong one. Uh, can I get the right, can I get the correct service, please? Where did the other one go? The other one is, I can't find it anymore. The other one was number three, which had in this direction. So does this one say the same thing? Yeah. Not only is it not supposed to go anywhere near Risa, but it's not supposed to go anywhere to the west of Risa. It's basically a train heading to Leipzig. This is not an IC-17, this is an IC, uh, at most an IC50 or an IC55, because I think both go to Leipzig. So those are the interstate services in this particular uh, region. Anyway, just thought you'd like to know that. So later on, we're gonna see other trains in the other two stations that we visit. They're gonna show off the uh, that uh, IC17 label on a lot of them as well. And it turns out they're actually gonna be correct in many of those cases. Potentially correct. Not 100% correct, but potentially correct. The, 
the best way to put it is that IC17 is supposed to go through Elster Werda, uh, which, by the way, would be an excellent extension to this DLC because Elster Werda uh, is actually uh, towards the um, Berlin area, and you can actually get there from Priestwitz. So it would be a great addition to have Elster Werda as part of this and uh, get the lower section of the route through the... Um, through another Dresden, another series of Dresden stations that uh, actually connects to a yard near Dresden HBF. So that would actually be, I keep, I keep, I keep, it starts with an F. I can't remember the name of it. It's a hard name to say. Uh, Dresden F something. Not the dirty word. Uh, in any case, I'm trying to remember the name of the station. Freed something. Uh, and there's the final train coming in, so I'll stop talking about wishes and dreams. Let's just get a look at this final train as it comes in. To platform number three. This is train number 4422197. This is listed as an RE60. I'll show you that that actually says that here. It says it's an RE, oh, it actually does say RE50. I got the wrong one in mind. So it does say RE50. I thought it said RE60 when I looked at it. Okay, maybe I made the typo. Maybe I made the typo. Okay, that was my fault in the notes. I typoed that six and five. Yep, they are very close together as I thought as I said to someone else when I was reading my notes, and uh, yeah, I uh, actually made that type myself. And anyway, RE50 is the same service um, between uh, Leipzig and Dresden. And the RE60 that I thought this was listed as is actually supposed to be from uh, Braunschweig to Hanover, which this is not that train. So uh, yeah, I'm glad we actually have it correct here because I thought it was wrong. In any case, that's the final train on this scenario and the Race the station is going to go to sleep now because uh, no other trains are scheduled to stop here forever. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and pop myself over to Radebule Zitschewig, which is going to be the home of our next scenario. So uh, I shall see you over there in just a moment. Nah, I'm still drinking. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and look up the next set of services here as my character will now stand still. Fantastic. And we have, uh, I believe, eight trains on our timetable for this scenario, or at least seven on our timetable. There's probably going to be freight service going through, but at least seven on our timetable. So I'm going to pop into the sky here because our first train should be coming along over here uh, at platform, actually at platform number two is going to be the first train that comes along. And we actually want to look for a train heading to the east. We're going to be seeing uh, RE50, Regional Express 50, number 16505. Coming through in just a moment. I believe it's going to be coming from this direction. Because this is the... Uh, yeah, this is the direction it should be coming from in just a moment. So we're going to keep an eye out in the distance over here. There it comes. You can see it coming up the hill now. So we're going to get a nice close-up look. That is train number 4422353. Let's get our view straightened out a little bit here. As you see, this is a non-stop service. It is heading from Leipzig HPF to Dresden HPF, so it's a typical RE50 service. Meanwhile, coming from the other direction, let's move over just a little bit here. We're gonna see another train coming from this direction in just a moment. Actually, I'm on the wrong track, so I'm gonna reposition myself and I'll show you the next train in a moment. And here's the next train coming along right now. You can see it. this is train number 1890979. And this is our freight service. I know that we have one once in a while, so this is definitely the freight service. It's also going with uh, number 1890615. That is the second engine on that locomotive. And all the one freight cars on there, which are, as you can see, Ocean Network Express. Hence, one. Not two, one. Ocean Network Express. There you go. It looks like it's coming to a stop at a red signal up ahead here. So we're going to take a look, quick look at this and verify. No, it's got a green signal. It's just coming to a stop. In any case, we're going to get ready for the next service to come by in just a moment. Because it's going to be coming by on the uh, line number three, which is right here under me at this exact moment. I'm expecting an IC service. Or, uh, excuse me, intracity service. Um, there is a 12 car service scheduled to go through here on track 3W. It is going to exit via the Berlin line. You can argue that this is an IC17. So um, 
That would be the argument I would make here. It's probably an IC-17, so we're going to go with that. So we're just going to stay here and wait for this train to come along. It shouldn't be too far away at this point. Let me do a zoom in here and confirm that. Oh yeah, you really can't confirm much here, can I? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Ah, train number 101-1139. Interstate services tend to be all class 101s. Now there is a pair of trains scheduled to make stops up ahead here. So I'm going to expect the next two cars over at the station platform which is right behind me, as you can see. So I'm going to zoom through the electricity. I'm going to uh, hang out here at, uh, which one do I want to hang out at? Let's hang out at platform number one. That's going to be the next one that rolls in. People are already sitting here waiting. This guy is uh, looking annoyed. Oh, the music guy. The music guy. I'll just, excuse me, sir. I said, excuse, uh, excuse me, sir. Don't push me. Anyway, we have a music guy here. We're going to have a train pulling up right behind him very, very soon. So the train that I'm expecting is a service uh, that is going to be going to Meissen Tribishtel. So this is a service to Meissen Tribishtel. Tribishtel. I still have a hard time saying that. I practice it. I still have a hard time with it. Anyway, you can actually see, if I pause the uh, game here for a moment, you can actually see that that's what it says on the sign. So these cab cars on the class 146, they show you where they're going. And we're going to be able to see, oh, he's done listening to music apparently. You can see it on the side of the train there as well. So very, very nice. Am I at the right spot for the door to open for me? So close. Hello, sir. So you can hop in the train, you can actually see a little bit here. For, so you can go up the stairs here, for instance, and see the nice, lovely, lovely cars. Hello, sir. A little close for comfort. Oh, someone over here too. Hello, sir. And just, whoa, hello. Make your way through, make your way through these people, if that makes sense. And just hop off the train and you're good to go. All right, so the next train is gonna be coming along on this platform. Oh, no, not this one, other direction. So the next train will be over here as we see that uh, train leave. By the way, that cab car driving the train was cab car number C00000008. I don't know how accurate these are, by the way, uh, in terms of actual train numbers. Uh, that was with the engine 1460493. You may have seen that as I went by. Here comes from the other direction, a similar train. This is the uh, service to Bad Shandao. Bad Shandao. Not good Shandao, Bad Shandao. It's the exact same type of train. This is cab car A00000017 with train numbers 1460253 on the back. We'll see that in a moment. These are both S1 services. The S1 service has uh, a few different options for routes here. I was actually looking some of those up today because I was curious. S1 services start at Meissen Tribishtel and they go to Shona. That is the entire route, about a 70 kilometer or so route. Part of this is actually created by another company already externally to Steam, uh, up to Dresden HBF. The Shona to Dresden HBF was actually created, the Alb Valley Railway as it's called. You can also take the Meissen Tribishtal -Tri service to Perna and stop. That's about halfway along the route. <coughs> Excuse me. But there's also a service from Meissen, which is actually two stations into the route. Starting at Meissen, you can go to Bad Shandau. And uh, that is uh, about five stations after Perna and about four stations before Skona. So uh, there, there's a nine station difference between Perna and Skona, if I remember my notes correctly on that. And uh, those services uh, tend to literally be the entire, the main S1 service through Dresden, or the main S1 service. There's also an S2 service, which we're gonna see in the next scenario, because the S2 services don't actually come in this direction. We'll see those next scenario. But there is something else in that area that will be of interest as well. So we'll look at that later in the next scenario. Now I should probably turn around. Nope, never mind. That train going by in the other lane 
is an inner city service. Number 1011410 is the train. Uh, now, the inner city services in this scenario are not numbered. That train going by over there on platform number one, also a non stop, is uh, train number 4421318. That is a five car service. Uh, that's an RE50 service heading towards, of course, Leipzig. We know Leipzig has to be where it's going because that's what RE50 does. So that was uh, service number 16506. These, these are, by the way, actual service numbers in this scenario. And these actual service numbers can be searched and their actual timetables for today can be found. So the services are roughly similar to what they were back then, or possibly exactly the same in many cases. There is one more train that's going to be coming along. Let's go ahead and keep an eye over in this direction. I'm going to actually go in the sky a little bit this time. And we're going to keep an eye over on track 3W right here. So I'm going to be looking for a train to come along right here to finish the scenario. This will be the last train that we see on this particular uh, set. And you can actually see the train coming along in the distance right there. It is another interstate service, so it's going to just breeze by. So let's go ahead and get back down to uh, track level. And let's just see how fast this is. Oh, okay, this one didn't load properly, guys. That's what you call a bug, ladies and gentlemen. That was supposed to be uh, Interstate Service 1010495, a 12 car service that went by as we saw on track 3W, but the train did not load properly. So that is a bug that can happen. Uh, the other times I played this scenario, it did work. I'm not gonna go back, back and get it because there's no reason for me to waste my time replaying the entire scenario just to get that train. So uh, a little interesting there. I really gotta stop drinking. Uh, okay, so there we go. The uh, We start by a snack machine, Osgain, for the escalator, or whatever that is. And there's a train actually wait, going by already here at Dresden Biskoffsplatz. That train that is leaving, uh, I didn't even have time to really introduce you to the station, uh, but we're already seeing train number 1460188, a six car service, departing from platform two. Uh, apparently, the, um, it says it's a service to Shona, S-H-O-N-A, but it's actually spelled differently. S-C-H-O-N-A with an accent on the O. This train coming in right now is to Meissen Tribishtal. Uh, it is an S1 service, therefore. So basically reversed S1 services. Again, both BR146 services. This is The cab car that was driving was E0000005. The train at the end, which is you're going to see in a moment. We'll take a close up of it. It's train number 1460212. You can see that the uh, AI trains are stopping in a position where they are beyond the end of the platform at the back, and that is fine because typically you are supposed to come all the way to the front. And because the uh, back car does not actually load any passengers, these trains technically do fit into the platform. You can see the last car here is loading passengers. It is open and uh, we have uh, do not slip and fall signs on the train. I like that detail and the button pusher and there they go. So because the trains can hang off the end of the platform, the uh, actual train itself, that means the entire train fits. So let's go ahead, now that I've gone through a train, let's pop over the road here and get a view of another track up here because there's a good vantage point right on top of this house coincidentally enough. So this vantage point gives us access to another set of tracks. We're gonna see more trains along here in just a moment because this is the S2 route to uh, the airport. So that train going by right now to the north is uh, S2 to airport. Let's go to the airport. That is cab car F0000020 with train 1460451. So another BR146. They're all over this scenario as you can tell. Uh, in this scenario, there are six of these BR146s. There should be another one coming from up here, actually, which you're going to see in a moment. Here it comes. That is cab car H0000002. And on the back of that train is, uh, I'll zoom in on it. You can see it right there. You might not see it long enough, but you can pause in the right second and you'll find that that is number 1460071. So we're gonna be uh, heading back to the main line over here in just a moment from our roof, from our vantage point on the roof. 
we're gonna see a couple trains coming by down here in the station area. So let's pop, just let's just hang around the sky here and watch them go by because they're not gonna be stopping. They're gonna be using the high speed lines. These two lines to the south of the platform, to our north as we're looking at it, but it's actually south of the platform as it curves to the east. Uh, those two train, those two lines are the high speed lines. So we're gonna be seeing uh, trains going by on these high speed lines at Dresden Bistkoff's Platz. Here comes the first one. There he is, right there. Let's zoom in on him. So you can see that is train 101-1311 going by. So that is a class 101. Let's pause for a second, by the way. That's not how you pause. I actually hit screenshot twice by mistake. What I want to zoom in on, it still says it's an IC-17. You could get away with that. You might get away with that on this one. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but you might get away with that one. In any case, that one's gone by. The road ends very abruptly there, so let's go ahead and stop looking at that. Okay, that's a little better. And we're going to be expecting another train, I think going on a different path. Now the train did say it goes to Warren and Monday. Warren and Monday. That actually is correct. Uh, I actually had a note saying that there is a correction to this service, but this service actually does go to Warren and Monday. So I guess this is the path it takes. Maybe my note was wrong on that. Anyway, here's a service from Leipzig to Dresden. This is of course an RE50 number 16521. It does not stop at this station. So uh, that particular cab car. And actually, let's pause for a second and check this out. I don't think there's any way to any way to identify these cab cars. Like, let's just take a look here. I can tell you from having looked in the scenario file, this is cab car, uh, excuse me. Oh, it's, just, it's an RE service, Never mind. it's an RE service. So it's actually gonna have the train number. Okay, what am I talking about? This is a tilted track, by the way. Can you see it's tilted? Can you see the tilt on this? Uh, that is train number 442201, as you can see. We're gonna let him go by. He is through on the high speed line heading south. There'll be another train coming along. Uh-oh, we're gonna get run over. It's gonna come along this line in just a moment, so we should probably get out of the way. Head back to the platform for just a moment. There we are, there's the platform. So we're gonna see another train coming along on this high speed line, or maybe it actually comes along on the, no, it takes the high speed line. So zooming in, that's another class 442. That is 442-2189. So those two trains were uh, services number 16521 and 16522 on the RE50 schedule. So 522 is a Dresden Leipzig, obviously. And uh, notice the 16521 went through on platform number uh, two, just not stopping, whereas the other one went by platform number one, interestingly enough. Or actually, it went by the uh, high-speed line. So uh, platform number one did not see a train. It will soon, though. How's coffee, miss? They make good coffee here? Let me know before I buy one. I don't even drink coffee. Yeah, I my coffee is crisp. <laughs> Train coming yet? You're bored of my jokes yet? Because you should be. You're not bored of my jokes? You know, I walked into a bar the other day and I said, ouch. So there's a train coming along, I believe, in am I looking in the wrong direction? Nope, I was in the right direction. Here it comes. 101-0420, as you can see. Notice it's also saying IC-17 on the side of the train. Now, the difference on this one is it's going in the other direction. So, uh, I'm not sure how useful that information is. And they don't all show it. Only some of them show it, which is very interesting. Here's one that does show it. So, it says IC-17. Whoops. Dresden to Berlin to Rostock. Yeah, this is apparently a Rostock IC-17. So, there you go. That was on the high speed line heading south. So now we're gonna hang around the platform because we're expecting some uh, more act, uh, not, on, not on the track, on the platform. Here comes one of those trains that we're expecting here. Number 1460030 Tuperna is going to make a stop to pick up passengers. Uh, these S1 services stop at all stations on their journey. Not one station gets skipped by these services. So they stop at every single station all the way to Perna or in the case of, Shko of Skona all the way to Skona. So this can be a 24, 25, so stop trade. 
So that's a lot of stops on one service, to say the very least. Uh, now, I didn't bother getting the number of the cab car because it's not driving this train. So we're not going to worry about the cab car on this one. But we're going to be expecting another train to come along as this one leaves. May not be immediately. So this service coming the other direction is going to be the S1 to Meissen. And uh, here it comes right now, actually. This one is driving the cab car. And the cab car is C00000011. Notice this is Meissen train. Trebischtel, Trebischtel, sorry. And once again, the car at the end, the train, before I do anything else, let me check this actually. Let me go to the end of the uh, train for just a moment and actually confirm on the other train. Notice it was not hanging off the platform. It's the, it was on the platform completely, which is interesting. And this one's going to do the exact same thing, but notice again, the Oh, this is actually a shorter train. This is a five car service. That's why they're fully on the platform. 146067 is fully on the platform this time around as they're running into that train. And you can see the brake lights on nice and shiny. So we're gonna just position ourselves and watch this train leave. And then we're gonna have more activity up on the uh, other line, which we're gonna get to in just a moment. And if we, the other line again, if you might remember is up. Oh, actually, you know what? We have to go up there right now. Because somebody's already coming. Here he comes. So that train is... Um... Okay, let me tell you this. The train coming right now is that one. Which I'm not getting a good view of. So let's just go ahead and get the number of that train for you again. 101-0560. That tells you what I need to know. That is a 12 car service that I have absolutely no information on. Uh, taking the Gorlitz to Dresden Railway. Uh, so yeah, this is, I did have an I did have something in mind as to what this probably is, but I did not put it in my notes, so I'm not gonna be able to tell you what it is. But uh, given that there is a service that drives on this route normally, um, it's probably that service. Check what service takes that route normally. It's probably that uh, RE service. The train that went by on the other lane, that depressed lane down there that climbs up, that particular uh, train was. Um, the other one, number 4422106, that was an eight car service heading north. That one could actually be the, I think that's labeled as the RE28, but the RE28 runs from Nukiritsich to Chemnitz. It should not even be on this service line. It should not even be on this line. So I don't know why that is there like that. At least that's as far as I know. And you see that other train going by down there? How's that for a view? This is our last train in the entire series, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. 101-1345. And I'm gonna give you a still, one last opportunity to get a nice camera view of the train coming out from under the bridge. And your time is up. And that's that, just like that. Um, it wasn't even by the station yet. Okay, it wasn't even done going by the station and the scenario ended. Well, that's funny. Uh, in any case, that's the end of these uh, rail fan scenarios for the Reise to Dresden route. There are three more stations along the Leipzig to Reise corridor that we are going to see in the future. But for now, I hope you enjoyed these. And uh, I tried to give you as much accurate information as I could about these trains and about these services. Uh, I did leave out one detail about the S2. Uh, if I didn't say it completely, I'll say it to you very quickly right now. The S2 service runs from Perna to Dresden Flughafen, which is Dresden Airport. So I might have left a little bit of that detail out. There are stops beyond there that include Dresden Industrieland, which is industrial site. Dresden uh, Kloss, Kloss, which is the name of the place, and Dresden Grenzstrasse, which is Border Road. So those are the other stage stops along the way. So there are only four additional stops, including Dresden Airport itself from Dresden Neustadt. So that is what that line to going up to the left is. In any case, I hope you like these uh, scenarios and I hope you enjoy uh, seeing them and I hope you're gonna come back for more of them in the future, uh, especially the ones I drive. Uh, I'm Cyclo. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and join the Discord server and all that. And I hope you got some good screenshots out of this as well. I'll see you next time for Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm. it won't be on this route as I come back, so I'll just say stay tuned for more on this route in the near future. In the meantime, I'll probably get to some East Coast Mainline. That's what I'm thinking I want to do right now. So I might head over and do that. And I'll see you over there when I do that. I'm Cyclone. See you next time for more Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. Bye-bye.